After being cast into a dark well by his own brothers and sold at a slave market, Yusuf was eventually adopted by an aristocratic family in Egypt. He lived the next nine years of his life in their opulent palace. Aziz's wife, Zuleikha, loved the young boy and nurtured him with motherly devotion. But as he entered adulthood, he became more and more handsome. Her husband's indifference to her was weighing heavily on her, and she began to look at Yusuf with different eyes. One day, Zuleikha plotted to seduce him. She chose a time when her husband was out. She sent all of her servants away, and with only Yusuf with her in the palace, she locked all the doors from within. She adorned herself in fine clothes and jewelry and said to him, Come to me. Yusuf السلام, exclaimed, In God I seek refuge. I am from a family that does not partake in fornication. He admonished her, but his words fell on deaf ears. Zuleikha gazed into his eyes and said, How beautiful are your eyes, O Yusuf. Yusuf السلام, replied, In my grave, they will be the first part of my body to decay. Zuleikha said, How sweet is your scent, O Yusuf. Yusuf السلام, retorted, If only you could smell my decaying body three days after I have died, you would flee from me. She said, Why do you not come close to me? He replied, By keeping my distance from you, I hope to become close to my Lord. Zuleikha was unyielding in her insistence. She began advancing towards him. As he retreated, his eyes fell on her household idol, which strangely had some cloth cast over its head. Yusuf asked, Why did you do that? Pointing to her idol. She said, I would be ashamed if my idol saw us today. Yusuf السلام, said, Is it right that you feel ashamed before one who neither hears nor sees nor comprehends? Yet I should not feel ashamed before the Lord who created man. One practical lesson that we learn from Yusuf السلام, is the importance of being mindful of God even when we are alone. When the Holy Prophet was asked to explain the meaning of Ihsan, to explain the meaning of what it means to conduct yourself beautifully, the Holy Prophet said, أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ Ihsan is to worship God as though you see Him. And if you do not see Him, then at least know that He sees you. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to increase our taqwa and to make us among those who are conscious of His presence even when we are alone. وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين